Um, hi, I'm Claire. Uh, I really liked Hannah's idea of posting a video onto this community. Uh, so I wanted to try it out. I'm right now I'm currently using a, like a webcam and recording myself and then I'm posting it to YouTube and then I'll making a link and that's a little extra work, but I think that it's fun. So um, anyway, uh, first of all, I want to apologize because I'm quite the talker. Surely it won't be a very long video. <laughs> I'm hoping it won't because you'll probably be annoyed. But um, here we go. So I teach at Waco ISD at Crestview Elementary. I'm a first grade teacher. Uh, I've been teaching for, I guess it's two years now. It's more like a year and a half, but they consider that mid-year like a full year. And I mean, it's definitely worth it because... Uh, it was hard and it felt like a full year. So I'm two years, two years in, so that's awesome. Um, so <clears throat> right now with technology in our school, we have like very poor funding. So we don't have a lot of technology. We have three iPads in the classroom, three desktop computers. Um, we can check out an iPad cart, but we have a staff of like, I mean, it, we have a huge staff and everybody wants to use those iPad carts. So you're lucky if you get it once a week. Um, so it's it's very hard to get enough technology for the kids to have access to. Um, the only thing that I, and we don't have a smart board or anything, right now I just have a projector on a cart um, and one of those screens you have to pull down. <laughs> and for me, I think it's a safety hazard because uh, the light from the projector it beams into their eyes and that really affects their eyesight along with the wires the wires they <coughs> they trip over them and I mean it's just not a very good um, not a very good um, system <laughs> sorry uh, so currently I've been trying to fundraise money so you can get a brand new projector hooked up onto the top of the ceiling and that way it is safe for everyone and we simply have to use a remote and click it on <coughs> so um, anyway right now we have only raised about two hundred dollars I'm hoping to get a thousand but I I don't see that that changing anything so I'm gonna try donors choose right now I was using GoFundMe so maybe donors choose will be more helpful but that's just an example of what I'm trying to do for my school is trying to earn earn money so that we can have the proper equipment. So um, something else I use uh, within my classroom for instructional delivery, um, I use Google Slides and basically our whole, like our entire uh, lessons for the week are on there. And they're full of interactive videos, some brain breaks, and our objectives are on there. And we share this Google slide with our team. And anyway, I brought it to their attention and it's just been a lot more helpful. They can edit it, they can input stuff that they don't, that they didn't see on there. And it's just a way that we can all collaborate. Um, so that's been very helpful. I got that idea in Stephenville ISD from a kindergarten teacher and their team uses it. So that's that was a really great idea. Um, some other things is I use Flocabulary. They're just interactive rap videos that helps, you know, with additional instruction. Um, I use Remind, you know, to communicate with parents. I also use Class Dojo um, for intrinsic uh, motivators. Um, I use Kahoot. We had weekly comprehension quizzes on our shared reading or read aloud for that week. And I did realize that same thing that they uh, brought up on that live broadcast is, you know, it helps with my tier one and tier two kids, but not really my tier three kids. They cannot get to it fast enough. And they're, I just noticed that, you know, they have us, they have to take time, more time to think about the question. And so there's only like a two minute limit on Kahoot. So I had to end up stop using that and really focus on, you know, just the paper quizzes just because of that. So, um, anyway, I do like Kahoot if it wasn't for that. Um, and uh, some other things is we use Envision Pearson curriculum and all of it is basically online. It's been really helpful. Um, they have access to their homework assignments online. They can play games. 
<clears throat> that Pearson has created, making an assignment, and they can play it. And that helps with my stations as well. Um, so I, I really like the Envision Pearson curriculum. It's been uh, very interactive for my kids. Um, I would be interested in using the Seesaw that we mentioned the other night. I have never heard of it, and I'm currently researching it. I really want to implement it into my classroom because I think that's a great way you know, to not only communicate with other students, but with parents as well. And if they're in their ELAR or math stations and they've completed their work, you know, they want to show it off. So, I mean, let them show it off. They should be proud of their work. And, you know, other students can comment and, um, and if they have questions, they can ask. So I just think Seesaw would be really amazing. So anyway, thank you for letting me post this little video here. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. Um, if you have any ideas for me, that'd be great. I always, my one question I would love for anybody to answer is how can I get my parents um, involved in my classroom? How can I get them to be a part of an LMS system? Um, so anyway, any ideas would be super helpful. Um, so just shoot me up. Thanks. Bye.